Okay, I've been working on this for hours, and I got it down pat. <sighs> okay, it was just a warm up. <sighs> just because the camera's on, I swear I had it like five minutes ago. No, I have nothing to do because, because all my friends are busy and my love for MST is based on a foundation of lies and uh, my girlfriend is gonna leave me. <sighs> this is my life now. Popcorn is my new girlfriend and we are very serious. Don't say that in front of her, she'll be, you mad? Oh no, are you gonna break up with me? Just, just be honest. Silent treatment, this is not looking good. I am so bored. Yes, I have heard the cheese story. I have heard the cheese story so many times, I have found six plot holes in it. <sighs> Universe, send me a distraction. Hi, Dorothy. We're having words later. Hey, Connie's not here, so. I know, I'm here to see you. Uh, why, so you can tell me I'm a bad girlfriend again? Nope, to tell you that we're not enemies anymore. Ah, but uh, we were enemies before? Mortal ones. Cool. But I think it's time that we bury the hatchet. I left mine in Kingston, so I thought we could use yours. I don't have a hatchet. We're in a, in a city and only serial killers have hatchets. Do you think I'm a serial killer? Are you a serial killer? Oh, you do own a hatchet? Okay, don't, don't answer that. That was a joke. You like jokes, so I was trying to, I'm really trying to bond with you here. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, that, that was uh, uh, pretty funny, actually. Um, okay, so why do you all of a sudden want to make peace and be friends? Well, the thing is, I've been spending a lot of time with Bonnie. Yeah, I know. Because you screwed up so bad. Yeah, I know. Like, really, really bad. Yeah, I know. And this should be our big moment to get back together after you stole her away like a Marvel movie supervillain. What? Okay, first of all, I didn't steal her away. That's not, that's like a really exaggerated, ver and it's not actually what but happened But everything at all. is still about you. Literally every word she says is just Dorothy, and she's doing her Bonnie best to ignore it, but I can tell that she's just not happy. Not at all. Yeah, I know. It's all my fault, and I don't deserve her. Yeah. I mean, obviously. I mean, I just don't understand what she sees in you. Like, look at you. You're just so loud. But you make her happy, and I want Bonnie to be happy. Thanks. <laughs> so, I have an idea on how to make you suck less so that Bonnie can be happy. Okay, hit me. Be better. Be less awful. Be a cooler, less boring and terrible person than you are. Okay, yeah, that's it, that's it. Cool, uh, thanks, that's, that's, that's so helpful. Um, so, since you're helping me be better with Connie, does that mean that you are no longer trying to win her back? Yeah, I'm done with that now. Bonnie, um, Connie has moved on, so I think I should too. What's going on? Are you two talking? Oh yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're BFFs. We hang out all the time now. <laughs> it's kind of our thing. You know, Dorothy's not so bad once you get past all the plaid and the yelling. Yeah, and, and Monty has great jokes. They make sense and everything. Well, I think you're both very okay. So what are the three of us doing tonight? Actually, I think I should leave you two alone. Oh, no, don't go, please. Yeah, 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 you should, you should stay. Wow, stop suffocating me. <laughs> Bye. Make sure you talk 
and Dorothy remember. Less awful. Got it, thanks. Less awful? <laughs> It's a, it's a long story. I'm gonna make some coffee. No, wait, Connie, just sit down. Um, we need to stop avoiding this. We're not avoiding this. We're making this work, like a good couple does. I just had a more intimate conversation with Monty than I have had with you in weeks. Oh, that's not true. Uh, yesterday we had a very long conversation about bras. Those are literally intimates. I'm starting to get the feeling that you are only dating me because you think that you should, not because you want to. Of course I want to be with you. Then we need to fight for this. For, for us, or else we're gonna lose what we have. But this is me fighting for this, Dorothy. Don't you see that? No, I don't see you fighting. Really? I mean, here, aren't I? I didn't go home. I abandoned my parents, my lifeline, my everything to be with you. Isn't that enough? Clearly it's not enough because you're unhappy and, and that makes me un-unhappy or un-un-unhappy. I mean, it doesn't, um, doesn't matter. The point is, that you can't shut me out when you're going through something. Like, talk to me and, and maybe I can help you. I, I just need to know how. Did you happen to find thousands of dollars worth of buried treasure? <laughs> Surprisingly not. But I mean, if it's money that you're worried about, then, then I can get a job, I'll drop out. I just, I wanna figure this out together. Yeah, but I don't wanna rely on you for money any more than I wanna rely on the inseparables, okay? At least with my parents, I don't feel guilty. But you're giving them your freedom and, and you should take my freedom. I, I don't want it, it's yours. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> this is me fighting for us. I'm, I'm throwing it all down, Connie, because I love you and, and I wanna do whatever it takes to give you what you want. But I, I don't even know if I know what I want. Because you're right, I am un, un, unhappy. Why am I working so hard to be Un, un, unhappy. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. You saved me from a million un, unhappies. It's my jobs and my classes and my parents and I don't even know if I want. If you want. If I want to be a lawyer at all. I kind of hate it. Oh, did I just say that out loud? Uh, yeah, I heard that. Say it again. I I don't want to be a lawyer. I hate the work, I hate the classes, I hate the pantsuits. I hate all those emails that my mom keeps sending me about internships. I don't want to be a lawyer. Yeah, you don't. Say it loud, I'm proud. I don't want to be a lawyer. Well, screw the law, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> screw the law. Who needs it? I don't. Oh my gosh, I feel so free. Like I could do anything I want. What do you want? I, I don't know. No, I do, I do. I want a break from the work, from the classes, and I want to get as far away from my parents as possible. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll take a break too. We can go traveling around the world together. We'll go to Paris, it'll be so romantic. That sounds really romantic, Dee. But why do you keep on talking about leaving? You love it here. No, I, I love you. And I love our friends. But I don't, I don't love MST. I, I think I, Loved what I thought it was, but not what it actually is. Is this about the campaign? No. Anne? Maybe. You didn't come to MST because of Anne. No, but I kinda did. I have the chip mug and everything. No. Nope. Came here because of your gran. Because it was her sorority. It's the only reason I'm here. No matter how messed up Anne is. Yeah, she's the worst. My parents love her. My middle name is Anne because of her. She's only three years older than you. My point is, is that people are complicated. Haven't you learned that by now? I guess. Look, if you want to make the sorority a better place, you know what you have to do? Break its arms. <laughs> Run for VP. You want MST to be awesome, so make it awesome. It won't be as awesome without you here. Well, obviously, but I'll still be around. It's not like I've gone to the moon. 
Connie Bonatia, I'm gonna marry you someday. Oh, Constance Castlemore. I like the ring of it. Or you could be. Dorothy Bonacia. Yes, I could work with this. Ooh, Mrs. Bonacia. I'm liking it more and more. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. Ah, yes. Um, so the inseparables had a stern chat with me about too much PDA. So why don't I take my girl on a real date? I would be honored. Bye, inseparables. <laughs>